My name is Nick Stonesiger. And I'm Brian Darrison. And this is the Wraparound Special Edition State Patty's Day. All right, so State Patty's Day is right around the corner, Brayden. And as everyone knows, it's time to get absolutely relaxed and mm -hmm. hang out. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to it, right? Nothing Celebrate right. Ireland, yeah. the country. It's a great country. Mm -hmm. Ireland of uh, State College, Pennsylvania. Um, I mean, I think that State Patty's Day is a, uh, a tradition here at Penn State. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that not everybody knows about, but yeah. everybody who does know about, they definitely know about it. Well, you know who, you know who does know about it? Some students we talked to today uh -huh. in some interviews in the Hub, and they had a lot to say about State Patty's Day. Do you have any plans for this State Patty's Day weekend? Maybe I'm going to a party with some friends. Uh, something fun. I don't really know what to say. Um, I'm actually going out of town this weekend to go snowboarding. Is this gonna, is this gonna carry over? Is State Patty's coming with you snowboarding? It is not. Did you invite any leprechauns with you? Maybe. <laughs> How many? Three. Do you have any plans for State Patty's Day? Not solid plans. Not solid plans? The liquid plans, you would say? Sure, yeah. Like, how proud of you are Penn State for having a holiday purely dedicated to getting absolutely hammered? And seeing all these American holidays dedicated to just getting absolutely wasted, mm. what's your take on that? Like, how awesome do you think it is that Penn State has a celebration about getting absolute sloshed? I think it's really fun. Today I noticed that every like uh, uh, celebration day mm -hmm. is just for like drinking. Everything is about drinking beer. Hey, I mean, you know, that's what the Penn State culture is all about. Yeah. Proud to represent mm -hmm. St. Patty's the best way you can, and that's you know just celebrating it. I think it's, I think it's silly, mm -hmm. and that's it's kind of cool to be like an institution on the basis of silliness. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. I've never seen like people up like that in America you know <laughs> girls they too loud when they become drunk guys they become like big assholes, you know with alcohol so yeah that's kind of American-ish do you believe in leprechauns just one final question do you believe in leprechauns do you believe in leprechauns do you believe in leprechauns mm -mm. I would say no do you feel ashamed or like a fraud for celebrating State Patty's Day while not believing in leprechauns? Mm -mm, I don't think so. Um, I've been searching for a while, seeing if I could find one myself, but so far no luck, but one day it's gonna show up. Nope. Do you think you'll see a leprechaun this State Patty's weekend? Hope not. So you wouldn't go after that pot of gold? No. Leprechauns, uh, yeah. yeah, of course. Will you be looking for any this weekend? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Given you get that pot of gold, what are you going to do? I'm, go I'm going for that. I'm going for that, yeah. What do you think a leprechaun would drink on State Patty's Day? You got to think it's got to be the tallest pint they can find. Mm -hmm. I imagine it's pretty rambunctious this time of the year. I mean, a normal glass would probably be about, be about its height, right? Yeah, I would think it would probably consume at least its own body weight, maybe double mm -hmm. or triple that. But again, we're not sure yet. Dari wanted to plug his TikTok. Yeah, uh, go to my TikTok. It's the Daily Collegian. 